Hey guys, Jason with JLS Public Safety. Um, I want to talk a little tonight about holsters and about nothing in particular. I'm actually going to unveil a holster that I've never seen before in my life by a company I know nothing about particularly. Um, and, and really this has been spawned from uh, Facebook advertising. I see a lot of advertisements for this company on Facebook, on my Facebook feed, I think even Instagram's been you know, hit me a few times, maybe even YouTube. So uh, let's get into it. So for, I don't know, several years now, probably more than five, um, I have always carried, and actually this is one of my, really my first inside the waistband slash concealment holsters, um, was made by a guy uh, named Dustin, who used to own a company called Ozark's Holster Company. A lot of you guys have probably heard of that. I don't believe he's around much anymore. Um, this is my first, the first one I have. I actually have another one that looks exactly like this. Um, that a few years after I got this one, he had, had done some upgrades and some new materials that made me a second one. And mostly what irritated me about this one, why I had a second one, is I unsprung this clip one time. I don't, I think it was like, you know, getting out of the car. I'm left-handed. So I was getting out of the car or something and I think I snagged it on the seat and it just unsprung that and it's just been a pain in the butt ever since. Um, overall great holsters. He's made me a couple of these Kydex covers because I have a terrible habit of I'll go to work on a car or something or at night you know I'll take my gun out put it up and I leave my holster on and then I end up laying down that side. So you can see here it's broken. I've broken a few of these. It's chipped and cracked on the bottom. So long story short um, I haven't talked to Dustin in quite a while, but his website's down. A lot of people online say that he's just not around anymore. And so I haven't, haven't asked him to see if he's still in the game or what he's doing. So anyway, here we go. So the company I was referring to that I've heard about online, and you know, we all know, I mean, I, I go through my company, I can get DeSantis and Blackhawk and about every brand under the sun. Now Alien Gear, uh, so if you, if you want to order a holster, you want to check a price, you can just shoot me an email at jlspse at yahoo.com. Uh, go to my Facebook page, JLS Public Safety LLC. Uh, I'm on Instagram, JLS Public Safety. I'm on Twitter as well. And uh, this YouTube channel, which you're watching me on now. So, this is a company, I've done a little reading, and of course, like anything, you start to see advertisements for things you like. You click on them, kind of being nosy. Um, lately, I've just been big into reviews, so if a place has got a handful of reviews, I will typically read them. This is a new holster from a company called We The People. They're out of Las Vegas. American made, um, they have a lot of good reviews. They've even got some cool apparel. Um, I carry a Springfield Armory XD 9mm 4 inch service model full size. I'm a big guy. I like big gun. I know it's not a big gun, but it's, it's big, right? You know, I can't, uh, I, I can't hold some of the smaller pocket guns. I've had a car, uh, what did I have one time? A car CW9, I think. It, no, a C, I'm sorry, I had a car CW45. Great gun. Shot well for being a 45 and a small gun. Uh, it just, it was almost a hair too small. Um, I've had a kel P11, another great gun. That was a 9mm. That was kind of hard to hold on to. That dude was just almost a little too small and a whole lot of fire. It, it was a little hot. Um, so my, my primary carry is a Springfield Army XD 9mm. Uh, so I'm going to open this up. Like I said, I've never seen this before. The mail brought this yesterday. I did not get around to getting it open yesterday. I've been kind of busy and the weather's been real crappy and I just didn't get to it. So let's see uh, see how this comes out here. So we're just going to do a little We The People holsters review. Uh, this is cool. I have a neat little carry bag. I'm sure I can always store a few trinkets in there for the, you know, around the house or my go bag or something. Oh, fantastic. Um, a little We The People holster sticker. Now bear with me. I don't know how close to the camera is. If you can see that, if that's too close or what. Comes with a little We The People sticker. Uh, that may go on my gun safe. Um, here's a nice white larger sticker that may actually look even better on my gun safe. And again, I don't know. I can't see what I'm doing. So because I'm using the good camera, I always update, uh, upload all my videos in uh, 
UHD or whatever the highest setting my phone does. I Actually, I have a bunch of decals and stickers on my freezer out in the garage. I can't put this one on there, obviously, because my freezer's white and that's white. So, hey, shout out to We The People. Uh, I'm always a sucker for a sticker or a decal or something. I might throw that on the the old uh, farm staying race car. So, uh, kind of a, just a neat little bag. I'll find a good use for that. I may keep it, you know, down here and store a few little things in it. We'll see how that turns out. Um, honestly, I forgot which holster I ordered. So I'm going to have to cheat a little bit and look here and see if it says, and it doesn't, it doesn't say. I ordered the black, I did, uh, they had some really neat looking, you know, second amendment stuff and some designs, American flag, things like that. I like those, but you know, it's, it's concealed, it's inside all the time, so you're not really going to see it anyway. So I just kind of went simple. Um, I went with just a basic, um, it's just a basic kite culture. Again, it's black. Um, and here you can see the packaging it comes in. There's the holster. There is the uh, logo and the part number and such. Um, it is just a single belt clip, single kydex, unlike my uh, Ozarks Holster Company, which is more of a Wait, well, it's got two belt clips. You can adjust the cant and all that good stuff on the belt clip alone. I believe on this one you can too. Okay, so here it is, guys. Here is the here's the holster. You can see the We the People logo on the clip. I believe that's a plastic clip. Basic Kydex. We'll take the uh, barcode sticker off. The only thing I just realized I didn't do is I did not bring my gun down here to see if it fits. I don't know what I was thinking. So, give me a minute. I may have to uh, back up and punt here. Anyway, it looks good. Um, let me run upstairs, grab my gun, and... Uh, I'll be back, okay? Bear with me just one second. Hey guys, sorry about that. That was a kind of a train wreck. So anyway, let's set the holster to the side. We'll talk about it for a second. Usually when I'm home, I've got a left-handed, this is a Black Hawk, you know, level two, I think, because it doesn't have the top loop. This is usually what I have my sidearm in when I'm at the house. Um, I got some kitchen cabinets that are up high that lock. Not like lock with a key, but you know, have a little deal of lever. The kids can't get them open. My older kids know you don't touch it. If this thing was laying on the floor, they wouldn't pick it up. I have faith that they would not. They would come tell me. Anyway, so when I'm home, if I'm not carrying it, if I'm just sitting on the couch or something, I usually just keep it in the cabinet, stick it in there. It locks into place. This is great. I actually use this if I'm out in the woods. Uh, just walking and I don't need to conceal. Uh, you know, if I'm over at a buddy's house or out walking through the woods, I'll keep this on the outside from down at uh, Conservation Land or Mark Twain National Forest. Anyway, um, so we'll take it out of this. I'll set this on the shelf over here. I'm going to go ahead and unload it because I don't want to be one of those guys on YouTube that ends up putting a bullet in their leg or something, you know. Well, I say I'm going to unload it. There she comes. It gets a little finicky. It's, it's overdue for good cleaning. Anyway, okay. So back to this. So left-handed, let's uh, let's make sure. Uh, I'm going to gangster hold the gun so don't hate on me. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's check fitment. So overall, I like it. The barrel doesn't stick through. I like that. Got good trigger coverage. I don't have to worry about the, you know, anybody grabbing or me accidentally shooting myself going to grab it. I typically try to keep my booger hook out of the way anyway. Uh, I, you know, just a lot of that is just practice. Um, retention seems pretty good. Slides in. Firm. Firm. 
it doesn't seem like it's going to fall out. And you no, know, I'm not here. I'll hold it by the clip because I'm not squeezing hard. <sighs> I really need to clean this thing. It's pocket lid all that. Hold it by the clip. Oh, oh, okay. So it will if you shake it enough. However, unless you're uh, in the Olympics or something, you shouldn't be standing on your head that much. So lay this on the side. I'm going to slide this thing on real quick and uh, we'll just kind of see how it works from there. Okay. I don't know. You know, sometimes I like to carry kind of the back side. Sometimes I carry just a hair forward of the hip. A lot of it too is just because I'm a little pudgy. Um, so let's uh, let's see. I, I've, I've always been a little undecided. I do like the size of that belt clip. Uh, it's good and wide. This thing is super snug right now. The belt clip's not really doing anything. I mean, it's just snug in there. So, oh yeah. I'm gonna do some adjusting, obviously, because I just got it. It uh, so it's it's you know a little put a little I like a little little cant to it. That pulls out pretty easy. The holster does not come with it. Most of the time, I never look at where I'm holstering my gun. Obviously, I always. I can I go by feel. There you can tell it's in. Feels good. Um, right now it's pretty much dead on my hip. Um, I'm wearing a, I believe this is a 2X t-shirt, but it's a little snug. I don't even know if the camera angle is good enough. You can see that or not. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. So uh, basically what I'll do now is I'm just going to carry this thing around. Uh, I've actually been waiting and didn't open it because I want to make this video. I'm going to carry it probably the next week or so, um, mainly just because, again, getting in and out of the car and me being kind of a bigger guy, we'll see, we'll see how it wears. Um, so far, it's, it's pretty comfortable. I really don't feel, feel that it's there any more than I do with my other holster. Matter of fact, this one I like a little better. The other holster was spread out a lot, so when I wore it on my hip or a hair forward, it kind of poked a little, poked out a little bit, and you know, Oh yeah, squatting down, that feels good. Uh, we'll see how it rides sitting in the car. Um, I'm not too worried about overall durability because it's Kydex, it should be probably the same. I don't, you know, I don't, again, I, I don't make these. I don't know. Uh, one of you guys might be able to school me on it. But uh, we'll see, we'll see how it works out. And uh, I'm gonna get some photos. I'll post it up on Instagram again. It's We The People Holsters. Um, I'm probably going to go back online because they sent me some coupon codes. Not because I'm anybody special. They sent everybody they're probably the same codes. But in my email, I've got some like, you know, some certain percentage off. I may, uh, I need some new shirts. I've been wearing some of these same shirts. This is my, uh, one of my stair climb shirts from the Springfield Area Memorial Stair Climb in honor of 9 11 and the 343 firefighters that died. Um, I'm going to order some shirts. They have some really good looking shirts and hoodies and things. So uh, I'm going to give that a whirl. Um, again, that's all I know. I don't know much about We The People. You know, give them a call. Maybe check out their website. I was actually looking to see if it was on here. I think it's WeThePeopleHolsters.com, but I'll probably get that wrong too. I'm certain you can Google We The People Holsters and it will come up. Uh, again, made in Las Vegas. And uh, that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, shipping was quick. I ordered this, I think, on the 20th or the 21st, somewhere around in there. And I got it, I think it came in yesterday. What is today? today yeah, yesterday. Um, that's not their fault. It was actually scheduled according to the uh, post office app for the tracking number. It was scheduled to show up Monday. It didn't show up Monday. And I, you know, I've heard that right now everybody, there's so much online ordering because of the coronavirus that a lot of places are backed up. I've heard that the Kansas City, um, the Kansas City like distribution center is just just so swamped with orders they can't keep up with with mail. They're a little behind on getting stuff sent out. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at now. Like I said, I'll do another review later on um, about the overall wear of the holster. But just standing here at the moment. I, I kind of really don't even feel it. I like that the holster itself is narrower compared to my previous leather one that was, you know, rather wide. Um, even the Kydex piece on my old one was wider than I think this whole holster, holster is. Um, I'm almost sad now that I didn't go, again, this is just based on what I'm feeling at the moment. You know, after a week or so, we'll see. But 
I'm kind of sad now that I didn't immediately go to just a single clip holster like this. For some reason, I you know I always thought I had to have two clips to hold it in place. But you know the belt being snug and my hip, it's it, it's staying it's staying perfect. It's it's doing fine. So we the people holsters, uh, give them a look. Don't take my word for it. Read the reviews. Um, you know, look over, find people that have worn them longer than you know, however long I've had this on, five minutes, if that, and uh, go from there. The price was really good on this. I want to think I paid less than 40 bucks, um, somewhere around in there, and I think the shipping was super cheap too. So give them a call, check out their website, their Facebook page, Instagram. They have some fantastic photos. Again, they have several designs. I got black. I'm simple. They have uh, some great American flag colors and some other stuff too. If you, I might, I might order another one that's a little more decorative, uh, just because it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, Jason JLS Public Safety. Uh, we'll see you next time.